everybody. It's Damp. Thank you guys all for all the support from the Fishing Planet content. You guys have been amazing. You stopped by the stream. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for all the views and all the, the nice comments you've made. Um, apologize I haven't put up a, uh, uh, a video really in the last few days. There's been so many changes to the game. Um, I'm really going to start to put a disclaimer to check the, the change log and the patch notes. Make sure that you're checking that as you're looking at the videos. I don't want you guys wasting time because there's some things that are coming out that are changing so fast. So what I'm trying to do is put together content and it won't be the highest quality. I'm just going to get it out there so you guys can see. Hopefully it will help you and hopefully it doesn't get nerfed before the time that um, you can react to it or you can view it. So I'm going to try and do this as I see fit with certain ways to grind through levels because now they've adjusted the XP a, level, a little so it's not as much of a grind. So we'll kind of get right to it with what I'm going to recommend and this is between levels 11 and 14. So at level 11 you get access to North Carolina and where I was fishing primarily was Woody Enchantment and Into the Rocky Blue. Into the Rocky Blue is a good place for some smallmouth um, Woody Enchantment, you can get some crappie. You can also get smallmouth there and largemouth. Um, there's a nice pocket for largemouth near the, the moss patch there. But this is the best spot I found for largemouth, which currently are the ones that are providing the most XP. So what we're looking for are trophy largemouth. So the, the lure I'm using is a one-third ounce bass jig. You can see it in the top left there. We're going to fish a great parking job. So as I told you guys before, the reel and the rod don't limit you on the fish you can catch. So what we're looking for is this spot right here where my rod tip is pointing. And you can see on the left that people are catching a lot of trophy largemouth here. It's pretty consistent. Now I don't know if I'm going to catch one for the sake of the video, but I'll tell you where they're going to be. So where we're looking is about 25 to 40 feet out, right on the left side of this truck. Um, where you'll find is the truck you, you there's like a hole right near the truck um, and we'll see if we can get to it and you'll find your bait will sit on the hood of the truck which is pretty impressive because that's pretty realistic um, it, it will actually sit on the hood of your truck and you have to work it either left or right uh, um, I've also found there's a spot to the right that you can cast in front of the truck you can still get to the hole but this is the one I feel is the most effective. So you'll see as we get close to this spot that your bait starts dropping down slower and slower. And if you get to the right spot, you'll know it when it takes a long time to get to that pocket. And then here we have a fish right away. So there's a largemouth. Again, not the best fish in the world. It's not a trophy. But there are trophies if you consistently fish there. So here's the other way you can get to that spot. Um, however, I find that this spot over here gets me hung up a lot. But you can also cast here in front, and you're looking probably between 60 and 40 feet right there. Um, I still found this is the easiest. I fished all the way around here. You can also get some pickerel if you throw spoons down this alley. But really the fastest way I feel to grind through these levels is trophy largemouth at peak times here. So, I mean, we're kind of at peak time. We'll skip it just an hour for the sake of the video. And, uh, again, we're looking anywhere between 25 to 35 feet is where that hole is. And really, that's been the secret to a, a lot of my leveling is identifying the holes on the lake and just kind of similar to real life, if you find a hole that your bait can, is sinking down into and taking a long time, that's where you want to really work the action of the bait. And you'll probably get the best results in through there. So on this map, it's kind of right where we already saw it. I'm using lift and drop. Twitching also works, but I feel lift and drop, especially in holes, um, works really well. So here's another one. Again, it's a smaller fish, but this is, you can see, how are you catching that trophy? I'm catching mine with the bass jig, 9 grams, 3-0 uh, hook, third of an ounce. That's the same bait I'm showing you guys. So I wanted to keep the video short. I'll throw one more, more cast, see what we can get. Blue, I find, is really effective. White worked out pretty well, too. Um, we'll see if we can get a trophy on this cast. If not, I'll end the video. But you can really tell that people are catching the trophies here. So...
I'm not going to hold you guys up. And, and is, again, I don't have any video editing software or anything at this time. As the channel begins to grow, I'll start to get a little more professional for you all. But it allows me to get the content out there quicker if I'm not having to edit videos. And um, hopefully it can help you guys level then also. So it's probably getting too close. Um, if your bait stops, it's going to be on the hood of the car, usually if it stops in the middle. Um, and that is where you want to be careful. You'll, you'll get hung up. You'll get a snag. Um, so throw one more just real quick and see if we can get anything. But that's the spot where you want to fish here. Again, if you throw spoons to the left, you'll get chain pickerel. But I find that this has been the best for trophy largemouth, which are the best, best XP. You can also get trophy small, small mouth if you get bored here. And you can get those along the rocks and the rocky outcrop if you just cast to the right. Again, anywhere between 25 and 50 feet is where I find most of them um, using lift and drop. So there's one more. We'll see what this guy does. Looks like it's another small one. Yep. So, um, and uh, that's pretty much it. So um, there's a couple other spots that are pretty good. Uh, that this moss spot up here is pretty solid and they are going to change the holes guys so when you get to the area that you're fishing usually you can ask and people will give you an idea on where you want to throw don't be afraid to ask just don't ask for all the details because they're probably not going to give them to you and they'll probably get pissed off but um i'll give you as many details as i can and i'll keep coming out with content the next one will probably be the, the best upgrades i feel to use your gold on and then the, the one after that is going to be focused on gear and what gear you want to take um and then from there, probably 14 to 17, I'll kind of show you brown trout, what that looks like, and where you're going to throw um, to catch some of those trophies. So with that, that's it. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate all the support you've given. Um, we've had an amazing run since I've started playing Fishing Planet. So thank you all very much. Please throw questions in the comments below, or if you have anything that could help anybody, um, let us know in the comments. That way, hopefully, we can pass it on to somebody else. And I guess that would be fitting as we end the video. So there's your trophy just to prove it that it does exist. Thanks, guys. See ya.